Okay, in this podcast, we're going to look at the conversion between particles and moles. Okay, so the conversion factors here. When we talk about particles in chemistry, we're talking about atoms or molecules or formula units. And we'll talk later about what the difference between those two things are, formula units um, and moles. Um, just so just like a, tw a dozen is is 12 of something a gross is 144 a mole of things is Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd okay so that's what we're going to use in the conversion so that many atoms is one mole of an element or if it's that many um, let's say molecules it's one mole of molecules. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple examples. Okay, in this example we're looking at how many moles, that's what we're trying to find, are in this many atoms of magnesium. So this is our given. So 1.25 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of magnesium. And what I know is there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of magnesium and one mole of magnesium. So I can cancel out atoms of magnesium. I'm left with moles of magnesium. If I divide 1.25 times 10 to the 23rd by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, I get 0 0.208. I need three sig figs just like I have here. 0 0.208 moles of magnesium. Now, a word of caution here is when you're punching scientific notation, you should punch 6.022 times, not, not times, you should punch whatever gets you the EE function. In most calculators, that's the second comma, but you want this EE function, then 23. You don't want to use the caret, you don't want to use the times 10. You want the EE. If you don't do that, you're going to end up with the wrong exponent in your answer. Okay, so let's take a look at one going the other way. All right, in this one, we want to know how many molecules, that's our to find, are in that many moles of propane. And this is propane. So it turns out nothing on the periodic table is helpful for us here. We're starting with moles, 2.12 moles of propane. I'm trying to find molecules. So the conversion between moles and any kind of particle, including molecules, is Avogadro's number, right? So moles of propane go down here. One mole of that gives us 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And if I set it up right, it, that will cancel with that, and it does. And, and simply with 2.12 times Avogadro's number. And from a sig fig standpoint, that gives me 1.28 times 10 to the 23rd, whoops, 24th molecules of propane. And that should do it.